automakers are ramping up production of new electric cars, but now some classic gas guzzlers can get a modern-day makeover. CBS reporter Chris Van Cleve shows us how. This is not your grandpa's 1978 Ford pickup. Try that accelerator. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. This F100 is completely electric. The motors are much smaller than the engine, so they're slung really low in the vehicle. A 44-year-old classic now powered by a brand new electric motor. You're basically taking out all the innards and putting in something new. Right. Taking it from about 150 horsepower to almost 500 allowing car buffs to go back to the future. It basically makes everything about the vehicle better. Darren Palmer is charged with electrifying Ford. I imagine a traditionalist would look at this and go, but you're ruining a classic. I would love them to try it. And there are plenty who want to try it. Installing Ford's conversion kit called the Illuminator currently requires an experienced mechanic. This is a Ford Illuminator uh, E-Crate motor. Which is keeping Kirk Miller in Los Angeles very busy. His company, AEMEV, builds the electronics and hardware to turn a gas-powered car electric. There's a massive shortage of conversion shops. The longer-term goal is to get it to where it's plug-and-play. I'm going to say, you know, a year or so out minimum. The Ford engine kit quickly sold out, but the market for electric conversions is just getting charged up. It's expected to surge to nearly $120 billion by 2031. It goes. As for driving this workhorse turned electric hot rod, it's smooth, it's fast, and it's quiet, which might just be the sound of the future. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Dearborn, Michigan.